So, Mindy, Reese, Oprah, three iconic women coming together on screen to tell an important story. Even more women working together off screen to get this story told. What is it about women coming together that is so powerful and what did you enjoy about it? I think there's this sort of new idea that, first of all, the lack of representation of women and the, you know, the, the different dynamics that uh, women embody, the different aspects of femininity that are, aren't represented on film is um, coming to the forefront. Now you're seeing great movies with lots of women in them, which is so great, and a little girl starring in a mm. big action adventure movie. Um, I think it's an incredible time. It's big. And I think that what this story has to offer uh, in terms of girls and young people seeing themselves and being able to understand that embracing your faults um, and having the courage to do the thing you didn't think you could do um, is what makes you not just stronger, but makes you more of who you are. So we're excited about that message being able to be spread around the world. You, to co collectively, you played the misses, yes. so these spirit guides to Meg's character. Who do you look up to? Who gives you the inspiration to carry on when times are tough? I'm lucky because I can look within my immediate family. My late mother was someone who um, inspired me. She was the hardest working, most adventurous person I know, who's, and also very glamorous, which is not unimportant. And the three misses are all very glamorous. So okay. she would have loved that. And then um, who inspires me now is my daughter. So I, um, it inspires me in a, in a different way because it kind of um, keeps me in check in a, in, a, in a way. Being a mother has, uh, has really made me, I, I felt like I grew up when I had my, when I had my daughter. It's important to know that kids can teach you as well as you being oh. there. Oh my gosh. Kids, right? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. They're here to teach you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that exactly. was a big thing that I clued into. But it took me a while to figure out. I think talking about who inspires yeah. me, I'm very inspired by these women. I think um, I was so excited to get the opportunity to work with Oprah and Mindy and Ava mm -hmm. um, because they aren't women who sit around waiting for the phone to ring, waiting for opportunity to knock on their door. They go out and they create their own opportunities. And I think that was something my mom told me when I was little. She said, if you want something done, do it yourself. And these women embody that in every way. It's not easy to take the first step, is it, when you're trying no, to do something new? No, but you know what? No. You have to, because Mindy said it in this interview, someone else is going to do it if you don't do it, and why, why shouldn't we all put ourselves a little outside of our comfort zone to change the things we want to see in the world? I'm most inspired by women who work both outside the home and inside the home. Um, you know, Mindy wasn't a mom when we were doing uh, filming A uh, Wrinkle in Time, but I used to marvel that at every day, at the end of the day, as I'm taking off my makeup and like, I have to do seven face washings to get all that makeup off. <laughs> and like, oh God, I gotta get my wig off. And then, you know, Reese would leave and she would be going home to now step into another role as a mother after we've already spent 14 hours on the set. Mm -hmm. And um, during all those years when I was doing the Oprah show, it was those mothers, the mothers who, you know, would find the time to get to the show with their friends or girlfriends or whatever. I just feel like that, uh, and now Mindy's a mom, I, I, I honor what it takes to have the hardest job on earth. Um, I chose not to do it because the, the, the sacrifice that is required to give of yourself to create this other human being that you're gonna to try to bring into the world and guide with kindness and ambition and all that stuff. I admire the people who do that well and who take that seriously. Thank you. I think our audience will love to hear you have said that. Really? So thank you. It's true though, it is true. They struggle Those with it every day. Talk about the warriors. Those are the real warriors. The people who are doing it every day. You know what I marvel at? I marvel at people who cook a different meal every day. Yeah. <laughs> I, marvel, Some of us don't. I, yeah. I, I marvel at you, you got to think of another I know. thing. Yeah, that's so true. Because I can do it, you know, when Stedman's home on the weekends and we don't have somebody cooking. I can do it. But after three days, I'm like, God, I've run out of ideas. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I mm -hmm. just, I marvel at people who do it, do it effortlessly. Yeah. They don't complain, and they don't get a lot of applause for, yeah. for it. So that's who I admire. Aww.